everyone welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing really well i wanted to film a little autumn home refresh because while i have been mia from instagram which honestly is breaking my heart every day but i've been doing a lot of kind of shopping and styling at home and i've picked up some really lovely pieces to make our home feel a little bit more cozy i've got all the lights on in the apartment today because it's suddenly gone so gray it's pouring down outside it feels very cozy i've got my winter jumper on and i am just here for autumn i'm so excited for autumn content cozy evenings it just brings me so much joy so so i thought i would give you a little bit of a haul and show you how i'm styling the items in the house and yeah just a little bit of a home update because i haven't really spoken too much on here about the apartment and any kind of like autumn refresh bits and bobs so i thought now would be a good time okay so starting off in the living room section if you followed me for a while you know that our living space is open plan so our dining kitchen and living room is all open but we've tried to create it a little bit sectional so we've used a rug to kind of like section out the living area make it a bit more cozy and the kitchen is over there and then our dining room is kind of in the middle so it's really nice little sections we've split it up with lighting the rug and things like that so i wanted this sofa to feel a lot more cozy and as you can see our sofa which is from swift sofas by the way we absolutely love it and it's so perfect for our apartment it's really structural it never loses its shape it's so easy to clean and because it's quite low it works really nicely because we've got a really low big window here so it just finishes off the space really nicely when it's on its own like this which is kind of how we've had it for most of the time we've lived here it can feel quite empty and quite bland and just not that cozy so i have been on the hunt for some throws blankets cushions to just really like make this area feel super comfortable and cozy so i thought i'd show you what we've got first of all i picked up a couple of cushions i have had these for a while but this was all in tune with my autumn styling so I got these two cushions from M&S Home. I worked with them on a job over on Instagram and they are just beautiful. They come with the inside with them. So really easy. You don't need to worry about getting like the cushion cover and then the filling and everything separate. They are a collaboration with M&S Home and Fired Earth and they are beautiful linen, really kind of textured linen. And then they have a really dark brown satiny thread kind of border, which I absolutely love. They really tie in all the colours in this room really nicely. We've got the darker accents with the sideboard behind, the border around our canvas, and yeah, I just absolutely love these. They work so nicely on our sofa. So I got two of these, and then recently I found these cushions from The White Company, and I absolutely loved them. They were so gorgeous, exactly what I was looking for, but they were £70 per cushion and i just didn't want to spend that much money on a cushion so i've tried to find a similar one i typed it in online found the exact style that i was looking for i actually prefer these to the white company ones and they were only 15 pounds each in the sale so i'll link them below they're from dusk and i did buy the filling separate i got those on amazon which are such a good price so i'll link them below as well they are these really gorgeous creamy boucle cushions really textured so soft as well they're not scratchy they're so lovely and the back is also a really nice light linen so you can use these like reversible which is really nice as well if you wanted to move them around your home or perhaps have these in like the spring but you don't want the wool boucle you want like the linen really versatile cushions i just absolutely love them both of these are 50 by 50, so they're exactly the same size, which is so good. And I just wanted to get a really nice stack of cushions along the back. So that is my cushion selection for the sofa. Obviously, it's not cozy season without throws and blankets. And I am a sucker for a throw and a blanket. I don't think I've sat on the sofa without a blanket in autumn, winter ever in my life. Even when I go to a friend's house, I always will be like, oh, can I have a blanket? Because <laughs> I just love sitting with a blanket. 
So I had my eye on this one for ages because I wanted to bring in darker tones into our living space this season. And as I just said, the border on this cushion really ties in the space. So this blanket does exactly the same thing. This is from H&M Home. I bought this in store and I can't find it online. So if I can't link this exact one, I will link one really, really similar. But it's like a wool blend, mohair wool blend, tassels on the edge. And it's just a super big blanket. It's not the softest blanket in the world. It is a little bit scratchy, but I'm not that worried because I have other blankets that are super soft and snuggly. And this one is more just for warmth, for show, decoration, that kind of thing. If I was wanting like a super soft blanket, I would use the one that I'm about to show you next. But I really love the idea of bringing in these darker colours into the space and just really warming it up and tying in all those darker tones together. So speaking of soft blankets, this is the next one that I want to show you. I bought this from HomeSense and it was $27.99, which is such a good price for a faux fur blanket. It's not super, super big, but it's definitely enough for two people to use on the sofa. It's this really gorgeous, like creamy blonde kind of color. I love it. It just works so well in our space. It's so soft. I actually have seen this exact one from the White Company in a much bigger size. I actually already have that blanket, but it's more of a gray tone. So I use that in our spare bedroom or in our bedroom itself. But this one just works so nicely in here. I just love it. It's so cozy. It makes you want to just sit on the sofa when it's raining outside and watch a film and just, oh, love it. Okay, so moving on to styling these pieces in our space. I am probably gonna style the cushions kind of just going along the back. So I'm gonna do like a little, make sure they're all puffed up and then I'm just gonna layer them like this and stagger the pattern so there's a little break in between. I'm gonna make them pretty central in the sofa so they kind of go over the middle section and then along the two lines here have a play with them i mean they're super simple to style and then you can also do a little chop in those ones just to have a little bit of variation and there we go that is probably how i would style these cushions most of the time just really simple they just look so comfy and inviting and i just absolutely love them in terms of my blankets i've been styling them a little bit different. I move around these blankets all the time and one thing about me is I love mixing up my interiors. Like probably once a week I will move things around. Even if it's just like accessories or something, I just love doing it. So I've been styling these in different ways. Firstly, I've been putting this furry one along the back and using it as kind of like a border along the back, which is actually really practical because when you're sat on the sofa and you want your blanket you can just reach over and grab it so i've just been styling it along the back and then this blanket i really like styled more just over the side over the edge here so you can really see it but i also really like styling this on this chair so this is the perspective around the other way the camera is now where i was standing so this is the other side of the room we have this gorgeous window here, which I have linen curtains, just super simple. I keep that area really, really bright. The lighting is probably awful because it's so backlit, but I really like having this blanket a little bit more on show and I like styling it behind this chair like that, just to give a really nice contrast because this chair is super white and it just adds that really nice bit of depth to the space. Next up, another thing that I am switching out and updating for autumn are my candles and the scent of my home. For me, that is such a huge thing. I find it such a compliment when people come into the apartment and say, oh my God, it smells so nice in here. I just love that. I love lighting candles. They instantly make me feel so relaxed. They're so nice to just set the mood in the evening. Lovely candlelight. I just... I just love candles basically. So I thought I would show you some of my favorite ones for autumn that are just such a nice, cozy, wintry scent. First of all, I'm gonna show you some old favorites. So I've actually had these candles since last year and they are only half burnt. I'm quite stingy on lighting my nice candles. I only do them kind of on special occasions 
and I won't light them for too long because you honestly only need to light them for like an hour and then the scent stays in the room literally till the next day. So first of all, my Diptyque, I'm really gonna butcher the name of these. A De Boy, I don't know if that's right. But Nadia actually got me this for Christmas, I think. And oh my God, it smells amazing. It smells exactly like a fire, like a wood burning fire. It just smells incredible. So cozy, especially when it's raining, it's cold. Oh, I just love this candle so much. This is the medium size, I think. So I will link this below. Another old Diptyque favorite. Again, I've had this since last year. I've only got a little bit left, so I need to top this up. This is the scent figure, I think is how you say this. Um, I burn this quite a lot, which as you can see, I've literally burned it yesterday. I need to give this a little bit of a clean, but I love this scent. I actually have the air freshener in my car with this scent. And again, it's just a really lovely kind of like woody, musky scent, but it's not super heavy. So it's a really nice one to burn in autumn, I think. Another one that I've had for ages, this one was super special because it's the first thing I ever bought from Byredo and it's the chai candle. I absolutely love chai lattes. I've loved them for years and years and years. And I've only burnt this about three quarters of the way down because it's a super special one. This is just Christmas. This I don't really burn unless it's like November, December because it's so Christmassy. The chai scent is so lovely, but it's not sickly, it's not sweet. It's more of a savory kind of chai. Really hard to tell you how a scent smells. So if any of these sound interesting to you, I would urge you to go into the shop and smell them for yourself, but I love this candle. It's definitely one of my favorite. Okay, and then I picked up a few from Home Sense recently. They have the biggest selection of autumn candles right now, and they always have so many scents, but I find them quite sickly. I picked a couple out that I'm gonna burn throughout the next few months that aren't super sweet. I also picked these because I absolutely loved the branding. So first of all is this one, Pumpkin Rum. And I just love that branding. How gorgeous is that? It does smell of pastries. It kind of reminds me of like cinnamon pastries. It's very cinnamony. It kind of smells like baked goods, like brown sugar, cinnamon, but that rum element does make it a little bit more musky. These are so affordable. I think this one was $7.99, which is so good if you're gonna burn candles a lot. So I really recommend heading to Home Sense and having a look in there. Then I also picked up this one, again, because I just absolutely loved this branding. I think I'm gonna keep this pot because it's glass. I'm gonna keep this when it's burnt. Um, it says, magical moonlight, your future is written in the stars. I just think that's so lovely. And this one smells very different. It's kind of got a more like men's aftershave, a little bit more musky. It's almost like a spicy scent. It's not super strong either, so it's quite a nice, mellow, simple one to burn. This one was $10.99, which for this size is so good. Molten Brown have recently redesigned their candles. Um, if you know Molten Brown well, you might remember their candles used to be based on colours, which were matched to the scent. And now they've rebranded and gone for a really chic, lovely, minimal design. I've got the little candle lid on here as well. But the candles inside are obviously all the same, such good quality. I love Molten Brown so much. And my mum is also obsessed with Molten Brown in her new house. She's got all Molten Brown. This is the Rhubarb and Rose scent. And I really like this for autumn because it's a little bit more feminine. It's almost like a spicy spring scent, which I quite like in autumn. Because you're still, you still have a few sunny days and it's just such a lovely fragrance. And then finally for scent... I was recently sent a PR pack from Diptyque, which you may have seen in my last vlog. And one of the things they sent me was this beautiful diffuser. This is the Hourglass diffuser. This is obviously reusable. It's glass, it's beautiful, and you can refill this with any scent that you like. So what all you do is you literally just turn it upside down and that is how you activate it. And then the scent just trickles down. And once it's down through here, then it's all first and it will then scent your home and I just absolutely love this it's so beautiful and I have got the scent see I can already smell it as I've tipped it upside down I've got the scent 34 boulevard which is so beautiful it smells like a really gorgeous evening scent like freshly washed out the shower in the evening going for a nice candlelit dinner it's quite a sexy smell and it's actually the scent that's always in the stores so if you go to diptyque regularly you might know what I'm talking about Okay, I'm now in the kitchen and I absolutely love cooking some gorgeous, cozy, autumnal meals during this time of year. And I feel like 
in the summer it's so hot i just want to throw together a really quick and easy salad we're going out for dinner more we're sat in pub gardens whereas autumn winter we eat at home a lot more we cook roast dinners and just really gorgeous meals so i really wanted to invest a little bit of time and look for some gorgeous bits and bobs for the kitchen so First of all, I'm going to show you what I've got on my countertops at the moment. Over here, which is where I literally spend every single evening stood cooking some kind of meal. I absolutely love using fresh herbs in all my cooking. Basil is one of my favourite, favourite things in the world. I literally put it on everything. So I've got these little jars here. So I just buy these little packs of basil or chives or rosemary or literally whatever it is that I have bought. And I just put them in these little pots. This pot was actually blue and I think it had stripes on it. And I just didn't like it. So I used my little plaster painting technique and just covered this and painted it. And now it's super minimal and I love it. Oh, it smells so good. And then I have this other pot, which was a little plant was in here that I got for a present from Jack's mum. And I've got some rosemary in here for our roast dinners. Again, just really minimal, neutral. Yeah, so that's my little herb section. Then I recently picked this up from HomeSense, which is a pestle and mortar. Is that how you say that? Yeah. Pestle and mortar, right? It's super heavy. I love the look of this. The marbly kind of limestone, really heavy stone. And I just love it. I found this so handy with crushing up garlic. I even crush up like make different sauces in here. I use this for avocado. It's super handy. So I keep that out on the side as well. Another thing that I have that's new is this gorgeous pot. What would you call this? Saucepan. Um, this is from MS Home. I absolutely love it. And I have used this so much. So it was definitely money well spent. It's really, really heavy and I just absolutely love using it. It's such a good size. So I actually keep this out all the time. Just on top of our cooker we've got an electric cooker and it's not the prettiest it's quite ugly so i like to keep that on it just so it's a little bit more styled and i love using that pot it's so good for risottos pasta sauces soups casseroles stir fries like literally everything i cook in there it's so good i love it next up i want to talk you through some new crockery and glassware that i've got I think that our apartment works so well for hosting in autumn winter because it's so cozy. We obviously don't have a garden, so it's not that great in the summer. But over the next few weeks, I think we're going to be hosting so much more with our family and friends. So I really wanted to up my game with like my sharing dishes and serving ware and all of that stuff. So let me show you some bits that I've got recently. Okay, so I've got a couple of little nibble bowls. These are so good for like crisps, nuts anything like that really this one is from tiger which is such a good shop by the way tiger flying tiger i think it's called it's just this little speckled gray neutral bowl and i really really love it i actually sometimes use this for like my cereal or like yogurt and stuff it's so good and then i love these so much i've actually seen these from arquette before but i got these from MS home and they're like little cabbage bowls i haven't actually used these yet but i cannot wait to for crisps and olives or whatever literally you could put anything in here i just love them i think they're so cute and then i also wanted to get a really nice set of plates and kind of dining wear so from ms home i got these little plates they kind of got like a scalloped edge they're just so simple and pretty i love them really beautiful so i got the dining plate a little side plate as well and then also the bowl you get uh, i think it's a set of 16 so you get four of each which is so good and it just means we've got way more dinnerware i actually think i could do with buying another set of this so that we've got eight but um we also do have four other plates from ikea as well so i've got a nice selection to be able to seat at least six people that can fit around our table Okay, so that brings me to the end of today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed this little autumn living space refresh video. I am so excited for cozy season. I cannot tell you. It's my favorite time of year. I just love hosting all my friends, feeling so comfortable and cozy at home, candlelight, just lovely so do let me know if you would like to see a part two and i can maybe show you the bedrooms we are actually starting the guest room project 
in a couple of weeks we've ordered the sofa bed so i'm very excited to do a video on that as well so that will be coming soon but let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you would like to see and fingers crossed everyone literally cross all your fingers that i will be back on instagram as soon as possible i am praying that it will be any day now and i'll be back on there and sharing all my autumn cozy content for you but for now youtube is gonna be where you can catch up with me and see what's going on and don't forget i also have tiktok which i'm posting on quite regularly so if you want to see anything home so if you want to see anything home related or any outfits and what i'm up to then do follow me on tiktok as well which is just lauren grace life thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye